Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, in about eight weeks' time, we are about to be parents of a newborn yet again. <laughs> so here are some things that we will be doing and won't be doing again the second time around. Okay, the first thing that we'll be doing again is not sleep training. Right, so we did not sleep train Amaya. Her sleep was horrendous, um, but still we won't be doing sleep training again. Yeah. But saying that, we are really going to try for less sleep associations, aren't we? Because what were some of the things we had to do to get her to sleep? Stand up, put a bump, sing to her. Oh my days. Shush her, rock her. It was... Quite often I had to boob her to sleep. I know. Yeah, like there was a list, there were a long list of things. I know. So getting them out to sleep was not easy work. Um, but still, like I don't believe in the cry out method. Um, our hands down say that. And I, yeah, we, we want to avoid sleep training. Yeah. Something that we will be doing is talking to baby as much as possible. That was really great for my because I know she couldn't speak back to us or say anything, but just constantly hearing about us talking in this language and that's how they learn just, to talk yeah exactly. yeah definitely yeah speaking to her all the time reading yeah. to her all yeah. the time yeah. um, and i think what kind of ties in with that as well is like giving them as many experiences as you can yeah so they don't have to be like big expensive extravagant things but just taking them outside as much as you can and yeah. um, taking them to like different sensory things they can experience like lights different sounds yeah that's, um, that's why even farms are really good because yeah. like different like sounds different smells we think this really helped with the my speech development so we will be trying the same again but you know i think no two babies are exactly the same baby boy could be completely different so we'll just hope for the best yep okay so something that we won't be doing again is planning our whole schedule around nap time and i didn't sleep well like we said <laughs> Yeah, we still like organise our life around her sleep. Yeah. That's just not the reality this time anyway, is it? No. Because am I not going to be happy if no. we say, oh, we can't go to the park, the baby boy needs a nap. Or yeah. if we can't go, you know, I feel like the second baby just slots into your life more. Yeah, yeah. At least that's what I'm hoping. Well, the thing is, I think really be happy to, you know, hear everyone's stories or how, how you manage to cope on a day-to-day -day basis because... Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's not going to be an easy transition, and we know that. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, if you've done it before, let us know. I know, please, let us know. Right, the next thing that we will be doing again is, well, I will be breastfeeding baby, or you'll be feeding baby pumped breast milk. Yes. And this worked really well with Amaya. I breastfed her for two years. It's got so many different health benefits for baby and for mum. It definitely worked super well for our family, so we will be doing that again. Yeah. At the end of the day, it just continues... You know, helping that connection for you and, and baby, even though she still is, is not your best friend. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one last thing that we will not be doing is obsessing over every little thing because that just takes up a lot of time. It... I think it's so natural for first time parents, though. Like, we should give ourselves a break and think that as first time parents, you do that a lot. Yeah. It's exhausting. It's like you've got everything else that you need to, to deal with. Like the baby and each other trying to maneuver and figure out parenthood. And then you've got you're overthinking 24 7 that you're not doing the right thing and thinking about. Pff, it's, like, just, it's like everything in it. Like yeah. how many things do you Google? Oh, oh, um, no. What about how many times a man would go to the toilet? Yeah, true. Writing logs, Writing down, sleep like... logs, eat, feeding logs, all these different things. I remember from the beginning, I used to write down every single time I fed a Maya and for how long and on which boob. I know. And I did that for months. I've still got that note from the first few months of her life. I know. And sometimes, like during cluster feeding, she would breastfeed like 19 times a day, no exaggeration. And I've still got all those <laughs> written down on left, my phone. Left, right, yeah, right. just like really being anxious about everything and making sure that you get everything right. Yeah. Um. But like I said, that that is definitely normal as for first time parents. I guess the second time round, you just trust yourself a bit more, don't you? And you yeah. think this worked before, so I will try it again. Yeah. But if it doesn't, then I can do something else. Yeah, I think instincts will just kick in. Yeah. From from before, like. Oh, I know what to yeah, do. Yeah, back into the mode yeah. of like, yeah. There are probably loads of other things that we will and won't do again. These are just ones that have come to our head right now. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. <laughs> and if you have any questions, just ask us in the comments. Thank you very much. Love.